So tell me about that. What is this again? Well, this is an autolyzed collection tube. Oh, sorry. So a, uh, a, uh, an investigator could collect a sample in the field, put it into this tube, log it with that barcode, and then when it gets to the lab, put it right on the machine, and the machine will open it up and process that sample and get it ready for DNA extraction. So that's a sterile transfer onto the machine and, that's correct. and ready to go. N sample was never touched by human hands, complete chain of custody, uh, logged in the field and then received in the lab under the same barcode number, time stamped at both cases. So, so is that coming off of a swab then? Could be a swab, could be a cigarette butt, could be anything. Oh, okay. So it is, it is a lysis step. So we will pull the DNA out of that material, whatever it is. So the lysis and all that takes not taking place in this apparatus. It is. Yeah, so we actually we actually heat. Look at me get excited. <laughs> oh my this goodness. Is it is amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a very cool technology mm -hmm. because once the sample is collected in our in our auto lice instrument, it will it will heat and shake that let that bask that lysis two auto lysis tube it's called. Okay. Then it will separate and create a spin basket, spin it so that you get clear lysate going to the bottom of the tube. It'll even pull that upper tube out. Then transfer that lysate to the, a microplate or whatever you want to have input to your DNA extraction instrumentation. That is fantastic. And this is... filter in the tube right there, too, in that first Oh, that's fantastic. And this is Hamilton, right? This is Hamilton Robotics. This is our technology. Uh, well, it's our technology on the instrumentation. Obviously, it's, we don't make the chemistry. Sure. Yep. But, um, so you'll use a different lysis buffer depending on the sample you're trying to, to lysate. So who would be utilizing this process? Who would be purchasing these and who's your customer? Well, uh, anybody that's trying to get DNA off of any type of sample. So obviously forensics is the, the big one. Yep, public and safety labs. Yeah, public safety labs, crime labs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's been out, it's been out uh, five or six years now and it's, uh, it's a very popular system. That's great. And how many issues have you guys been coming to? Uh, our first issue was Las Vegas, and so that's, I counted today, 11 years, right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was our first one. Yep. So do you see a lot of the same people when you keep coming back to Ishi? Yes, and today we met a lot of people that were initially prospects, and they've now become customers, and so we meet them and greet them, and they want to enhance their systems that they already have. So customers that we already have are still our customers because they want to, uh, maybe they're just doing CE, but then they want to do their quant and amp next. I think this is one of my favorite shows. We just get a very positive response, and we we are we, we are uh, we really do appreciate the forensic industry. Oh, that's great! So nice to have you here at Promega Issue Issue Thirty, and we will see you next year, right? Absolutely. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good.